A slicer is a great way to filter data in a continuous range. Now, we know, of course, we can use a traditional filter where we have the drop down arrows at the top of each column and all that kind of thing. Uh, but slicers are a little bit better. They're more visual, uh, they're a little bit more hands on. And they're easier for users, especially if you did not create the spreadsheet that you're working in, um, they're a little easier for other users to be able to interact with. We can have slicers for different columns inside of your range, and they're all going to work together to filter your overall data. So let's take a look at how to insert a slicer. I've got my data set here in Google Sheets, and uh, we've got a lot of, well, little Good, nice little amount of data in here. And I want to be able to filter some of these fields. So I'm going to first of all click inside of the list. I'm going to go over to the data menu. And I am going to choose slicer. So it's right here underneath create a filter, filter views, slicer. Okay. Let's choose that. So when I choose slicer over here, it's going to have me select a column. Let's uh, do a slicer by item name. Item name. All right, very good. I'm going to move this right on over here. Uh, let's just go ahead and insert another one, shall we? I'm going to click in my list again. Data. Slicer. Let's do one for quantity sold. Okay. So I'll have two slicers. Now, you can have as many slicers as you want it. Now, sometimes this can be a little tricky here. I'm trying to move my slicer over. It's not working. A little trick here is I'm just going to right-click on it. And uh, that's going to give me the selector, so now I can go ahead and drag this where I want it to be. Okay. All right, so you can add as many slices as you want. We're going to just stick with these two for now just to see how this works. So if I want to filter, let's work with item name for now. I notice that there is an all drop down right here. This lets me know that it is currently displaying all of the unique values or just all the values, not just unique in that field. When I click on this, I notice that there are two ways I could filter. I could filter based on the exact values, or I could filter based on a condition. I'll do an example of a condition in our, our next uh, thing here for quantity sold. But uh, let's filter for just a couple of these different drink names here. So I'm going to clear to clear out all of these check, uh, check boxes. Let's filter for a couple of things. Iced coffee, mmm. Uh, ginger ale, mmm. And let's do some raspberry tea. Ooh, and uh, we'll throw some water in there as well. Um, and uh, let's click OK. And just like that, we see it filters for the things that we have chosen. All right, so that is fantastic. Now, I'm going to add to this. Let's do a filter for quantity sold. I only want to see things that have five items or less sold, let's say. So I'm going to go to all here for quantity sold. And for this one, I'm going to do filter by condition. And I can choose my condition. So it gives us all of our common conditions, text-based conditions, date conditions, numerical conditions. So I'm going to say less than or equal to five. And then very important, we have to come all the way to the bottom here and click OK. And boom, it, it puts both of those in place. All right. Great. Now, let's say I wanted to clear out this first filter. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I'm going to go back to Select All. Click OK, and now it gives me all of the item names, but only it's showing me the ones where it has five or less. Okay. So very easy for me to go in here, create my slicer, and adjust it. Now, if I were to right click on the slicer, I'm also going to have an edit slicer option. And this is cool because it's going to let me change the column if I want it to. And it's going to allow me to customize, right? So if I want to come over here and do like a background color of some sort, um, hopefully that's not too bright for you. We'll do something more friendly or change the font that's being used in the slicer, right? I can do that. So let's come here and do this for this guy here as well. We'll change that. Let's do a more pleasing color here. There we go. And we can adjust fonts, right? Whatever it is that you want to do, we're able to do it. Okay? So very easy to add in slicers, customize them, and it makes filtering much more easy to handle. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. 
and click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.